When we hear about animals, fear is the word that comes to mind. This is especially true when we think about creatures with poison. But did you know that it's not just snakes that possess venomous abilities? Numerous lizard species are equally fascinating and potentially dangerous. Now you must be thinking, which poisonous lizards are the most dangerous and how many lizards possess venom? To answer that question, we have compiled a list of the 10 most venomous lizards in the world 2023. Without further ado, let's start. Number 10. We would like to start with the Nile Monitor. The Nile Monitor, scientifically known as Varanus niliticus, is a formidable reptile found in the African wetlands. These monitors are sizable, reaching lengths of up to 6.5 feet. Their bodies are sleek and muscular covered in rough, brownish-gray scales, and their long tails make up half their length. These monitors boast sharp heads and powerful jaws, ideal for hunting. Nile monitors are mostly solitary creatures, though they mate during the rainy season, laying eggs in burrows or under logs. Their hunting strategy involves stealth, using their excellent climbing and swimming abilities to catch prey like fish, birds, and small mammals. Though these lizards are not venomous, but Nile monitors have bacteria laden in their mouth that can cause infections if bitten. Infections aside, their impact on humans is limited, as these monitors typically avoid confrontation when given the chance. Coming across at number 9, we have the Asian Water Monitor. The Asian Water Monitor, scientifically known as Varanus salvator, is a fascinating reptile found across Southeast Asia, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and southern China. These monitors thrive in diverse habitats, including mangrove swamps, rivers, and coastal areas. In terms of physical characteristics, they can grow up to 10 feet in length, with powerful bodies, long tails, rough skin, and distinctive heads adorned with sharp jaws. These creatures are mostly solitary, only coming together for reproduction. When it comes to reproduction, Female monitors lay eggs in nests they dig in the sand, where the young hatch after a few months. They employ an ambush hunting strategy, preying on various animals, including fish, birds, and small mammals. Aside from this, the possibility of venom in the Asian water monitor is widely debated. The after-effects of the Varanus bite were thought to be due to oral bacteria alone, but recent studies have shown venom glands are likely to be present in the mouths of several if not all of the species. Moving on to number 8, we have the Argus Monitor or Yellow Spot Monitor. The Argus Monitor, scientifically known as Varanus panopetes, is a remarkable reptile native to northern Australia and New Guinea. These monitors primarily inhabit tropical forests and savannas, displaying an impressive size of up to 5.6 feet, 1.7 meters. Their bodies are robust covered in dark banded yellow skin with a long muscular tail. Argus monitors possess distinctive heads with prominent ridges and powerful jaws, allowing them to be formidable hunters. They are solitary creatures and reproduce by laying eggs in underground burrows. In terms of hunting, they are opportunistic predators, preying on smaller animals and scavenging when necessary. Though they are not venomous, Argus monitors have a unique form of defense their saliva contains bacteria that can lead to infection if bitten, posing a potential risk to humans. While these creatures are not typically aggressive towards people, it's essential to exercise caution when encountering them in their natural habitat. Let's get to the number 7 of this amazing list, which represents Tree Crocodile. The Tree Crocodile, also known as the African Tree Crocodile Lizard, is a large, arboreal and poisonous lizard found in the rainforest of Central and West Africa. Adults can grow up to 2 feet in length and have a long, muscular body with a thick, crocodile-like tail. Their skin is green or brown with dark spots and bands. They have a large head with a blunt snout and powerful jaws. The tree crocodile is a solitary lizard that only comes together to mate. Females lay clutches of 10 to 20 eggs and the eggs hatch after about 3 months. The tree crocodile is an ambush predator, meaning it waits for its prey to come within striking distance before attacking. They are also known to climb trees to escape predators or to find new feeding grounds. The tree crocodile is poisonous, 
with poison that is delivered through two fangs located in the upper jaw. Their poison is a hemotoxic poison, meaning it destroys blood cells and tissues. The bite of a true crocodile can be fatal to humans, especially if not treated promptly. Coming in at number 6, we have the Parenti Lizard on the list. The Parenti Lizard, scientifically known as Varanus giganteus, is an impressive reptile native to Australia. This formidable creature dwells in arid regions, favoring deserts, grasslands, and rocky outcrops. It earns its name as Australia's largest monitor lizard, reaching lengths of up to 2.5 meters. With its robust body, long tail, tough scaled skin, and head equipped with sharp jaws, the Parenti is a formidable predator. Despite its intimidating appearance, it often leads a solitary life, hunting for small mammals, birds, and even insects. Reproduction in these lizards involves laying eggs in burrows, typically during the warmer months. They are renowned for their venomous bite. Though not lethal to humans, their venom is mild and primarily used for subduing prey. Encounters with parentes usually pose little threat to humans, as these lizards are generally reclusive and not aggressive toward people. For number 5, we have Savannah Monitor, a poisonous lizard. Savannah Monitor is the largest lizard in Africa, growing up to 6 feet long and has a long, muscular body with a powerful tail. The Savannah Monitor is found in a variety of habitats throughout Africa, including savannas, woodlands, and grasslands. They are also found in some urban areas. The Savannah Monitor's poison is delivered through a pair of grooved teeth in the upper jaw. The poison is mild and not usually fatal to humans, but it can be painful and cause swelling and redness. The poison is more potent against prey, such as rodents, birds, and reptiles. It works by paralyzing the prey, making it easy for the lizard to swallow. Savannah monitors are intelligent lizards and can be trained to perform simple tasks. They are also very social creatures and live in groups of up to 20 individuals. Savannah monitors are good swimmers and can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes. At number 4, Komodo Dragon lies with its rarely and poisonous venom. The Komodo Dragon is the world's largest living lizard, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing over 300 pounds. These massive lizards are found on the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinja, Flores, and Gili Motang. They live in a variety of habitats, including forests, savannas, and coastal areas. Komodo dragons are solitary animals and apex predators, meaning they are at the top of the food chain. Komodo dragon poison is a complex mixture of proteins and peptides that can have a variety of effects on prey, including paralysis, shock, and death. The poison also contains anticoagulants, which prevent blood from clotting which can lead to excessive bleeding and internal hemorrhage. Komodo dragons have a lifespan of up to 30 years in the wild. These amazing creatures are an important part of the Indonesian ecosystem and are a popular tourist attraction. On number 3, we go with the Guatemalan Beaded Lizard. The Guatemalan Beaded Lizard, scientifically known as Heloderma heridum Charles Bogerti, is a remarkable reptile native to Guatemala these lizards primarily inhabit arid and rocky regions, including savannas and dry forests. They are characterized by their robust build, reaching up to 60 centimeters in length, with a stocky build, short tail, and distinctive bead-like scales covering their skin. Their broad head features powerful jaws, adapted for crushing the eggs of their main prey, reptile eggs. These lizards are solitary creatures, rarely seen in groups and their reproduction involves laying eggs in burrows. When hunting, they employ an ambush strategy, lying in wait for prey. Their venomous bite contains a potent neurotoxin, impacting their prey's nervous system. While they pose little direct threat to humans due to their reclusive nature, their venom can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Guatemalan beaded lizards are a fascinating species, both for their unique appearance and the ecological role they play in their habitat. Just on number 2, we have Mexica. Not Mexica, it's Mexican Beaded Lizard. It's a large lizard with a thick, heavy body, a long tail, and a broad head. The lizard's back is covered in bead-like scales, which gives its name. The Mexican Beaded Lizard is found in dry, rocky areas of Mexico and Central America. 
It prefers to live in areas with plenty of hiding places, such as under rocks or in burrows. The Mexican beaded lizard's poison is produced in glands in its lower jaw. The poison is delivered through the lizard's bite. The poison is a neurotoxin, which means that it attacks the nervous system. The effects of the Mexican beaded lizard's poison on prey can be deadly. The poison causes paralysis, which makes it impossible for the prey to escape or defend itself. The lizard then eats its prey whole. The Mexican beaded lizard is a solitary animal. It is active at night and spends the day resting in its hiding place. The lizard is slow moving and relies on camouflage to avoid predators. At number 1, we have the Gila Monster. The Gila Monster, scientifically known as Heliderma suspectum, native to the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico. With a distinctive appearance, it boasts a stout body covered in striking black and orange bead-like scales. These creatures are primarily solitary, spending most of their lives underground or in rock crevices. They reproduce by laying eggs in burrows or nests. In terms of size, they can reach up to 20 inches in length, characterized by a short, fat tail and a broad, wedge-shaped head with powerful jaws. Gila monsters possess neurotoxin venom that flows into prey through grooves in the lizard's teeth. Gila monster venom is about as toxic as that of a West Diamondback rattlesnake. However, a Gila monster bite introduces a relatively small amount of venom. A Gila monster bite can be painful to humans, but there's never been a human death caused by Gila monster venom. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below your favorite part and let us know. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.